and gentlemen, boys and girls, Chinologists, welcome to today's advent calendar, which is a bit late, which is what I'm doing inside. Again, I'm watching, as always, YouTube videos. Got the couch in, so yay. That took a little bit of effort. And also, I got my uh, couch there. If I just shut off the light here, don't know if you can see that, but yay. So I got a little tree up there. There we go. Yep, so now it's... Um, that's the one I bought many years ago back when I had a little apartment and I just dug it out for no reason because again I'm kind of rearranging everything trying to go in order. Anyways, what else I've been doing lately is uh reason why I've been slow on videos too is hey, it's uh Christmas time for uh uh Overwatch. So I'll probably do a video on this. Matter of fact, probably I'll record it tonight, it'll be out in a couple days maybe. Or maybe before this video <clears throat> mm, TV magic being what it is but yeah yeah I've been doing this so anyways just a quick apologies for the schedule lately it seems like the more free time I have the less I get done I don't know it seems I work better on a tight schedule oh anyways all that aside though today is an interesting day I get to try something I've heard a lot of but never tried myself the Kraken black spiced rum 47% alcohol. Uh, so yeah, this is 94 proof. So that was the sink draining, of course. So let's see here. Let's see how this tastes like. This is going to be interesting. Uh, Symmetra, why don't you sit down? There we go. So let's see here. The Kraken. Yeah, I've, I've always one of the rums I hear people talk about a lot the most, especially over across the pond in the UK. And of course, that's a nice, I want to keep that bottle, it actually says the Kraken on it. Don't know if you can see that, but yeah, nice. So I keep that with my bottle set I have above there. So uh, let's see here. Not a strong smell. I mean, not a strong alcohol smell. I smell rum. And then it's kind of gone away. Tea. So. There it is. There's the alcohol smell. But yeah, it's not like with some whiskeys. You have that cringe smell. That's I, Maybe it's just me. Instinctively. Same with tequila. Even though I haven't smelled tequila in forever. So, uh, <laughs> But yeah, so again, apologies for A, I don't think I've done an advent calendar since I got home, away from home. So I need to go out, but it's a two-edged sword. Like, I can't go out driving somewhere in the desert and then take a shot of the crack and, and then drive back. I could. Admittedly, it's not going to get me drunk, maybe. It depends on how much I've eaten and stuff like that. So that's why I prefer to eliminate all variables and just have a drink while not having to worry about driving. So if I do go somewhere, I'll take a shot, then mess around out there for a good hour plus to work out what little alcohol I may have consumed uh, out of my system. So anyways, but yeah, apologies for my schedule and just being lazy in general. I've just been sleeping in so much. It's been glorious and a little depressing. I need to actually get out and exercise. So, so just sitting around watching videos all day and playing Overwatch. So, all right, here we go. So to trying to be a little bit more active or to Festive video games, which we're about to play after this. So here we go. Oh, I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> okay. That's interesting. Oh, that is interesting. <clears throat> Give me a second here. Okay. Boy, that aftertaste. Okay. Mm. So, the initial taste is, um, mm. okay. It's a nice flavor to it. Initial, ma it's got nice taste, but again, it's one of these sp small introductions, then it's just ran the fuck over by this overwhelming warmth that goes up your cheeks a little bit, down your throat, and there's the rum. There's the warmth of alcohol. There's the burn that immediately overpowers. Goes up, you know, a little bit, but mainly cheeks, down your esophagus, that kind of flush of warmth. 
Mm. So the immediate alcohol kind of overpowers any taste to it, but the taste remains a little bit. It's just mainly that taste of alcohol towards the end. The initial taste is good. It's nice, a spice rum. So there you go. How about a little bit of a clap? How come you don't have sound? Could have sworn I... There we go. That was weird. Thought I should hear noise. There we go. Anyways. So yeah, yeah. All this fun stuff here. Then again, I'll do a proper video on it rather than just this stuff. Because you should have a $3,000... Yep, there you go. Santa clad. Anyways, all that aside, there's today's... Ooh. Uh, video. Or shot, rather. The Kraken. Ah, the Kraken. Ah, oh, it be cracking my lungs now. Whew. Anyways. Yeah, I like the bottle. Again, it has the Kraken on this. Again, very... Mm, a lot put into just a throwaway bottle, basically, for a shot. Not even a full... Um, bottle. I want to have... what If the regular bottles have that also. Oh, well, oops. I'm dripping Kraken all over my carpet. And that's why there's so much wear and tear there. So, oh, well. Ooh. Anyways, so I'll end the video here and we'll go on. Actually, I'll see if I could put it up there. There we go. Can you see it now? <sighs> up there with the rest of the ones from various years. Oh, well, all that aside, let's go on to today's advent calendar video. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to advent calendar game number 15. We had uh, taken the Kraken. Let's take a crack at this game then. Today is Popcorn Panic. Avoid the popcorn. Last man standing is the winner. The rest is dust. <sighs> I am recording, right? Okay, that's important. Anyways, let's play the game. So, D-pad, I can move. Hi. Pop, 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 pop. We're dancing, having my fun. So, are we supposed to collect this stuff? Okay, we are supposed to collect this guy here. So it's not purely last man standing wins. Can I shoot? No, I can't. So you just avoid popcorn, collect items, and be the last ship in the galaxy. Get the gold, then get the women, and avoid the popcorn. There's another P word you go after. Damn it! Oh, the popcorn's starting to pop. So is, each, is it each time the does the popcorn randomly split? Or is it each time it hits another one? It splits? I think it might be a random chance. Alright, so I didn't do bad. I got two on that one, so yay for humanity. But yeah, so it's already middle of the month. Was it? It's still decently warm here in Arizona. It was like 75 today. So, yeah, we're not expecting any cold fronts. Well, uh, was it? Tonight it's going to get chilly into the 65, which I need to look up how cold that is. Anyways, oh, damn it. Okay, where's my phone? Where's my phone? Okay, Google. Where are you? I'll be right back. Okay, hopefully I remembered to edit that out. Uh, you'll know if I did or didn't. Now, oh, there's my controller. Okay, so anyways, got my phone, so now I feel connected to the world. Oh yeah, I keep pushing buttons like I mean the fire. Damn it! Oh, come to me, points. Glorious, glorious, huge of color. You and me have a date with destiny defend the intelligence of all mankind I must defeat the evil yellow AI red all the way red is not dead did you hear me Fred then what did I said I know it's not grammatically correct no it was that but it rhymed not the last part but fudge 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 I'm drowning popcorn oh Jesus Christ almighty, where's the butter? Okay, I'm doing all right surviving. Fudge! Okay, by the way, so I did find my phone. It is currently 14 degrees outside Celsius. Again, I'm used to Fahrenheit. That's really cold in Fahrenheit. But it's... And then it's going to be... 
uh, hourly. So it's going to get down to 11 or 10 degrees Celsius. And tomorrow's going to be 25 degrees Celsius. Ooh, but then on Saturday, Sunday, it's going to get down to a low of 15 and 16. Then it's going to be 19, 19, 19 for the rest of the week. So what the heck is that in Fahrenheit? Oh, idiot American. Anyway, English, back. Uh, 60s. It's going to be in the lower 60s. So that's, again, that's our cold. It does get down below freezing occasionally when we get frost warnings. That's 30 degrees Fahrenheit. And I believe freezing, of course, in Celsius is zero, which is where the scale's made is boiling's 100 and freezing zero. Or is that Calvin? No, Calvin's a really weird one, isn't it? Again, and I recently learned Fahrenheit was just a dude. What I mean by that is he was actually just a guy that made thermostats. But he made pretty accurate thermostats, so a lot of people would buy it as the preferred anyways, form of uh, me uh, thermostats. So his way of measuring, which he tweaked here and there, became the preferable way of yada yada yada. And I believe uh, Celsius, which wasn't by Celsius, anyways, uh, was a case made with the idea of zero being freezing and 100 being uh, boiling. At least that's my understanding as someone that was raised on Fahrenheit. There we go. But what was I saying? Oh yeah, yeah, it's middle of February. Try again. It's the middle of December. <laughs> So, yeah, so it's already halfway through the month. See, I keep forgetting I have this screen over here. So I'm so used to that being the score on the right that I forget I could actually move in that section of the screen. Mm. But yeah, it's the middle of the month. I still haven't bought uh, all my presents yet. I always do this. Um, I mean, basically, don't tell my relatives. I got them all gift cards. I, then again, they know. I do this every year. I get uh, gift cards from blah blah blah. So they're each getting, except for my sister who needs a little bit of help this year, uh, $100 gift cards. So, uh, but uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I always go shopping the last weekend before Christmas, not to buy presents. No, just randomly. Last year I did it to buy pants, just because I needed new pants. And I always make that mistake of, oh, I'll go, it's the weekend, I'll go do some shopping. I have a few extra cash from the holidays, might as well. Then it dawns on me, oh yeah, it's the last weekend, and the malls are packed. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. It's almost as bad as Black Friday. Well, not as bad as Black Friday. Nothing's bad as that. But I mean, it's just crowded. Like, I just came here on a normal shopping trip, completely forgetting it's one of the major shopping holidays of the year. Again, the equivalent would be just casually going out Friday morning after Thanksgiving and then donning. Oh, yeah. It's Black Friday. Yeah. Damn it. Anyways. But, yeah. So, no. But back to the point. I still haven't bought the kids something. My nieces, uh, my brother's kids, uh, two girls. I haven't bought them anything yet. Uh, but my sister's kids, the two boys and a the girl, they have a PS1 right now. And she just bought a bunch of games for them, but I kind of hinted at, to them that I'll give them my old PS3. So I need to prepare that if I'm going to give them the PS3 because I need to wipe the hard drive with my name and stuff like that. And uh, secondly, get them two more controllers, I think. So as well as chargers and stuff like that. So. Also, I need to hook it up for them. And what I mean by that is I need to talk to my sister, see what kind of TV they're playing the PS1 on. Because I don't think the PS1 had an HDMI. I'm pretty sure it's an RCA if I had to take a stab in the dark. Uh, so I need to see if I can get a AB uh, switch for, uh, for RCA and HDMI. So that way they can uh, just with one button press switch on the same TV between the PS1 and the PS3. Because I'm pretty sure you can't play PS1 games on your PS3. Damn it. So a little A-B switch between RCA and HDMI. Now, that might not be cheap, but it'll mm, help them out. Or 
it may actually help it if it's two different TVs. So one can play the PS1, the other kids can play the PS2, yada, 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 a PS3. See, they had a PS2, they broke it, then they got a PS1, so. Oh, man. Mm. But either that or I give them a the Nintendo Wii. A Nintendo, not Nintendo Wii. I don't, never got a Wii. Ha. Mm. But I need to finish that shopping. Because every the adults I all got presents for. So I just need to figure out with the kids. Because usually with my nieces, I get them some kind of arts and craft kit or science toy. Because again, I'm trying to push my love of science on them, I guess. But we'll see. Because again, the oldest... Uh, my sister's son, and he's almost a teenager, so he knows my Overwatch sticker on my truck, so he's somewhat aware. Oh, come on, more so than I am, the old fart I am now. Damn it! Woo! Dodging all these popcorns. Look at my skills. By the way, I'm actually using the analog stick now. Damn it. Oh, I thought I was the last one. Someone else apparently died at the same time. Oh, but yeah, so I still need to do the final touching, uh, final touching, the final finishing touching on shopping. Uh, mainly, I just need to go to a used uh, computer store, a uh, game store. So I'm pretty sure I can get cheaper PS3 controllers at a used store than I could buying them brand new at uh, Walmart or GameStop or whatever. So, that and I should buy them some games. I need to think what PS3 games uh, to get them. Because, you know, there's all the classics, but the problem is, like, I bought the PS3 for Skyrim, basically. Which was a mistake, because it never got modded. Which, I want to get Skyrim for my Steam, so I can finally mod the hell of it and play it on my PC. With the immense graphic card I have. Anyways, uh, what was I saying? Yeah. So, I can't give him that. Uh, mother, my sister, doesn't want any violent games. Darn it. So... They uh, all need to be somewhat kid-friendly. But there's plenty of those on the PS3. I was just thinking there's all the Lego ones. Uh, Portal, I think, is right on the edge of a good game that you can get for PS3. Uh, again, uh, it's a good puzzle game for them. Anyways, there's plenty of old PS3 games. I just need to go to used store to get them some games. Because, again, the only one I think I have... No, I have two. I have the uh, Uncharted... Not the latest one, the uh, one before it, which wasn't a thief's end. It was, I forget. Anyways, that one and Skyrim, I think, are the only two PS3 games I actually have. Oh, no, I do have the Sega Collection, which is another one I want to get them because you cannot go wrong with giving the kids the classics. So, uh, anyways, that was a ra Oh, wait a minute. There's one thing JNK mentioned. Uh, before he changed his kind of AI, I guess, for good, he said to pause the game, then move around in a circle. Is it not in this game? I'm gonna have to try in another one here. Cause he mentioned something about doing that in the pausing and then, so see, oh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I wonder if I have to pause. If not, I might have to go to one of his more recent games and try it. Cause there's some kind of secret he talked about. And again, if I haven't mentioned it, this is a game a week. Um, so if I pause here, then go around in a circle. Oh, is that it? Am I making it bigger? Yeah, if you look in the corner there. Ah, that's it. So in the, ooh, pretty. See, I always notice the spinning thing. I didn't realize I can control it. Okay, in the right corner, down here. Again, I, f I forget on the, ooh, yeah, I have this mouse. Down there, I actually can control its positioning. So, oof, I sent it flying. So, the first number is speed. And the second number is what? It's position, or how big of a circle I make. Okay, so if I didn't do, <laughs> that's triangles, holy crap. I never knows. again, I noticed the spinning thing. I didn't realize I can control it. So I can make it bigger. So that's actually the shape. So if I do this, almost like, oh, now it's a square almost. Hold on, let me slow it down to see. Oh, that's actually the size. Oh, hold on. There's a magical number there. That I got that tunnel effect, almost like a stint. 
a heart stent because you know like me you all work with heart stents daily right okay so that is a square then we have a, a pentagon which makes even a so if I make the pentagon smaller see okay so it's so small that it's a line then big and I can make it so big it almost makes a tunnel because of the way it look at that nice I never noticed this nice touch and then this is again it's getting more and more shapes that I don't know the name to so each number so the second number is how many essentially making more and more edges so we went from a triangle a square to a pentagon sexagon octagon sexagon is probably a website anyways uh, so I could add more and more edges until it be just becomes a circle and again if I do this this is kind of where it was initially uh, not quite that so let me get it going in circles so see I always saw it kinda of like saw it doing that but I never realized it was okay that's very cool wow I could just play with this for a couple I mean look at that that's wow thanks for pointing that out I feel bad I never found it mm. I always thought it was a pretty design. I didn't realize I could control it. Amazing. Then square to triangle. So where does that number happen? Because that's almost a perfect... So it's, you can almost see it as I tweak it, how it goes from triangle to square, just barely like that disappearing edge. Oh, that's a little trippy. So there's a square, there's a triangle, and if I go further down this line, I should just get a. <laughs> oh, that's that's a wallpaper right there. That's amazing, trippy man. And if I keep doing this, I should just get a line, right? I oh, know triangle is the smallest you can go, because then that, again, if I want a line, oh, there's the tunnel for you. Ah, oh, it's almost got it perfect. Hold on. See, if I adjust the, okay, that's that. If I adjust the size, like if I could almost get it spinning perfectly. No, that's going to be the closest perfection I can get because it almost spins perfectly where it seems like a stationary object, but it's just slightly off. So again, if I do, oh, it also affects the rotation. Ha! So now if I keep it there, can I do it with the D-pad? I can do it with the D-pad. So, okay. So at this size here. I can't quite get the square to stay. There we go. Almost, almost there. So I could get each square. So the video ended a while ago. I should make this its own video because this is amazing. Ooh, did I find it? Nah. Again, it's almost... Well, is it changing or is it the change of the color? So does it actually go to a dark enough color where it looks like it does it? Okay. So it is actually staying in the same spot each time. Mm. But the change in color makes it look like that. So there's the... Uh, again, that's one, two, three, four, five. That's five. So that's a pentagon, right? I forget what a six is. Again, I sexagon, but like I said, I'm pretty sure that's a website copyright somewhere. And then there's the slow progression. Ah. Oh. Then there's again the tunnel effect. And again, to make it smaller, it actually bounces around that way. Like an 80s pipe dream. Amazing. I never realized this. And then, of course, this is roughly what i seen each time. And I just assumed it was a nice trail. I didn't realize I could control it. This is amazing. I could spend days. Well, days. Well, uh, in certain states of mind, I could play, do this for days, but I... So, uh, let's go back to a... S oh, that's a line again. So, zero, zero just kind of is a perfect circle. And I can almost make it stop if I remember right. No. Oh, well. 
just like it's just small then disappears oh the trail it makes is amazing anyways okay enough of that that's uh, it for this video if you made it this far you've learned a cool trick again it's on most of jnk's most recent games he is changing ai so uh ai ai the ui i think anyways i'm drunk don't know what i'm talking about for more information check agameaweek.com oh, oh that aside <laughs> That was classy. Uh, thanks again for watching and see you next time.